Hello friends, now I want to obtain legendary polynomial. So before that, I hope what we are observing y is equal to right hand side terms. And I hope we know that we have derived this equation or y is equal to a naught y one x plus a one y two x is derived in the last video, namely series solution of Legendre differential equation. What is the series solution? So this is the a series solution. In this equation, now I want to replace n by some numbers. Some numbers means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So I want to observe what I can obtain by replacing a, a numbers okay suppose n is a positive even integer in that case a naught y1 x a naught into y1 x reduces to a polynomial of degree n i want to repeat once again suppose n is a positive even integer positive e1 integer so this term can be reduced to a polynomial of degree n okay if n is a positive odd integer positive <coughs> odd integer in that case this term this term means a1 into y2x reduces to a polynomial of degree n it means that you can choose n is equal to either positive even integer or positive odd integer these two terms can be reduced to a polynomial of degree n <coughs> sorry that we call it as an legendary equation okay otherwise these will give infinite series called a legendary, a legendary function of a second kind so now i want to take a naught is equal to some constant a1 is equal to some constant say for example i want to write a naught is equal to minus 1 to the power n by 2 into numerator 1 3 5 so on n minus 1 whole divided by 2 into 4 into 6 so on n and a1 is equal to minus 1 to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 into 1 into 3 into 5 into so on up to n whole divided by 2 into 4 into 6 so on up to n minus 1. So it means in this series I want to replace a0 by this value a1 by this value. So it means this equation can be reduced to or it can be rewritten in the form of polynomial or pn of x. This is equal to minus 1 to the power n by 2 1 3 5 so on n minus 1 divided by 2 into 4 into 6 so on n into the bracket so what i want to write i want to write all these terms first term is 1 minus n into n plus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square plus n into n plus 1 n minus 2 n plus 3 whole divided by 4 factorial into x raised to 4 plus so on okay plus a1 into what is the value of a1 a1 can be replaced by minus 1 to the power n minus 1 by 2 into 1 into 3 into 5 so on up to n divided by 2 into 4 into so on n minus 1 into the bracket I want to write all these terms so x 
minus n minus 1 n plus 2 divided by 3 factorial into x cube right plus n minus 1 n plus 2 n minus 3 into n plus 4 whole divided by 5 factorial into x raised to 5 plus so on. Okay. So now we have replaced a naught and a 1 by its values. Right. So now this can be called as Pnx, right? Or I will rewrite it as Pnx is equal to minus one to the power n by two as it is one three five so on up to n minus one divided by two four six so on up to n into the bracket one minus n into n plus one divided by two factorial into x square. So, n into n plus 1, n minus 2, n plus 3, whole divided by 4 factorial, x raised to 4 plus so on. Right? So, when n is even, so this is important, and <clears throat> again, this can be written as pnx is equal to minus 1 to the power n minus 1 by 2 1 3 5 so on n divided by 2 4 6 so on n minus 1 into the bracket all these terms as it is so n minus 1 n plus 2 divided by 3 factorial x cube n minus 1 right n minus 1 n plus 2 n minus 3 n plus 4 whole divided by 5 factorial x raised to 5 plus 1 when n is odd when n is odd right ok so now we have obtained pnx so now I want to replace n by 0 1 2, 3 and so on. So what I can obtain, right? So I may call it as an particular cases, right? So put n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, 4, 5, 6 and so on, okay? So now in this equation, I am going to replace n by 0. So minus 1 to the power n means 0. So it becomes 1 and it becomes 1. So second term onwards, all the terms containing n is one factor. It means second term becomes 0, third term becomes 0, fourth term becomes 0. A zero. So therefore, I can obtain so p naught of x is equal to one. It means when we replace n by zero in this equation, I can obtain so p naught of x is equal to one. And similarly, when we replace n by one, what I want to obtain so p one of x is equal to. So for example, minus one to the power one minus one is zero. It becomes one, right? <clears throat> so n is equal to 1 up to 1 right so this becomes x as it is n minus 1 when i replace n by 1 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 so it means second term onwards all the terms becomes 0 so p1 x is equal to x when we replace n by 1 okay now exactly in the similar way now i want to replace n by 2 2 is an even number now i will replace in this equation so p2 x is equal to minus 1 to the power 2 2 by 2 is 1 so it means it remains minus 1 right so minus 1 so now i am uh, replacing n by 2 so n by 2 means so you will get 
so two minus one means one up to two so within the bracket so first term is one right i am replacing n by two so two into two plus one three divided by two factorial into x square plus in the next term i am replacing n by two two into three two minus two is zero so this term onwards all the terms becomes a zero right plus zero so now i want to simplify so minus one by two into the bracket right one minus two into three is six by two x square or minus one by two times of one minus two one zero two three zero three x square or what i will get one by two times of three x square minus one so is the value of what p two x so i will write here so p two x is equal to one by two times of three x square minus one right so now we have replaced n by 0 n by 1 and by 2 so now why can't we replace n by 3 is it clear in this series now i want to replace n by 3 put n is equal to 3 <coughs> in this equation right so Minus one to the power three minus one. Three minus one means two. Two divided by two is one. I can obtain minus p three x is equal to minus one to the power one. Right? Okay. Now I am replacing n by three. It means you'll get one into three divided by three minus one is two into the bracket x. Right, so now I am replacing n by three. Three minus one is what? Two. Right. Three minus one is two. Three plus two is five. Divided by so three factorial into x cube. Right. So observe one term containing n minus three. When I replace n by three, three minus three is zero. So this term onwards, all the terms becomes. Uh, zero. Now I want to simplify. Minus three by two x, right? Ten divided by six x cube. So minus three by two times of x two three za two five za five by three times of sorry, yes two three za two five za x to the power Three. This is the value. Or further, we can uh, simplify. Is it clear? So this can also be written as minus three x by two, right? Minus minus into minus it becomes plus. So three into five, fifteen divided by two into three is six x to the power. Three, so three two za three five za minus three x divided by two plus five by two x cube. Or you can take out one by two is common minus three x plus five x cube. Or one by two times of five times of x cube minus. 3x. So it means what we have obtained. So p 3x is equal to 1 by 2 times of 5x cube minus 3x. Okay. Now I want to replace n by 4 exactly in the similar way. Now I can obtain similarly in the one equation p 4x. Is equal to after simplification I can obtain thirty five into x raised to four minus thirty x square plus three 
right similarly replace n by 5 this is equal to i can obtain 1 by 8 63 x raised to 5 minus 70 times of x cube plus 15 x right so these polynomials plays an important rule while solving the examples in the next video i can solve one or two such type of examples thank you